You're listening to Junction 11, your student radio station here at Reading University. So, yeah, are you looking forward to tonight then, guys? Yes, very much so. Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, there we go. answer. We yeah, yeah, so you're in sub 89. We are, yeah. We've never, we've never played before. Haven't so you? Could, it's a yeah. good venue. They've got some really good stuff. Last time, we, last time we were in Reading, we played at the Oakford Social and it was. But that's small. where all the good. Yeah. Smaller. That's where all the good bands start that come from Reading. They always go there and then it's sub 89. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You're, you're on the way up now. So I'm not look, going in the right direction. Yeah, like, definitely. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking forward to it? We are, yeah. We're, we're a little bit. Um, we uh we we went away this weekend to um Hong Kong to play at a gig. Oh wow, how was that, that? Um, it was really good, but it means that we're like <laughs> we're in a really really different time zone. <laughs> um, not not to, not to make us sound cool because we never ever go anywhere. So it was our first trip away, uh-huh. and we're reacting really badly to it. We're all funny. <laughs> what do you think to Hong Kong? It it's ama- yeah, it's just, really, it's, it's really intense as well. It's just like. It's kind of doesn't look real almost. It's like like, like all the lights kind of like like a computer game. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. But yeah, it's, it was fantastic. Yeah. Do they have robots? No. no. So Not that we saw lots of fish. Matthew has a love of robots. It is good. Went for a bubble the other day. It's understandable. Yeah. Why why was all the fish though? What's... Just everywhere. Every, like fish, 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 fish lots of lots of guts. Not actual fish, like food fish. All oh, right, okay. Because basically, actual fish, fish just, just aquariums just everywhere, flapping around in the road. <laughs> fish everywhere. No cars. <laughs> <laughs> the, the pavement's made of the glass with aquariums underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was really surreal and stressful. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but Kyle, could... Kyle doesn't eat any fish, and, and neither does Will. So Great. that that oh, yeah. So but what did you eat then? Well, coop McDonald's. Uh, just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because you, you go there, and everyone's like, right, you, you have to eat what you know, have to eat properly when you're there, where what the place is. And so we're eating like pigs' stomachs and stuff, and they're bringing out things that. Just you know, you'd, you'd throw away here. We tried to we, tr- it there. we tried to order. Yeah. We, we went to this. We went to like a. a a restaurant where we were the only um, people there that weren't Chinese and we tried to like decipher the menu and we were sort of being stared at and laughed at quite a lot because we didn't know what we were yeah. ordering yeah. and we tried, to get, we tried to get some spring rolls which clearly isn't a Chinese word and we ended up with literally a, a plate of guts with some batter oh. on top oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we were looking at it like mm. a strange experience then. I think mm. and as well like, you know you're in for a treat when it's like special chicken with awesome sauce and you're just like <laughs> I'm getting that of course I'm getting that and it's just one whole chicken to cut up all the bits really? yeah, yeah. Like, oh like, like, all through the through the bones, just like bosh, bosh, on a plate, whack it out, special chicken. <laughs> it was, uh, mm, it's just, you know, sounds special. <laughs> you, had, you had to order it. Yeah. Um, they didn't have to eat it, though. No. <laughs> Not sure. Did any of you guys try that? Try eating it? I, I, yeah, we had a bit. <laughs> I know. A bit. How much Dropped. is a bit, though? Is that like a mouthful or? Like a section, would not it? No, just, you know, you pull a bit off and I've done, done that. <laughs> yeah, no, tried it, don't need to do it again. Culture is great, you know. <laughs> I, I, I just couldn't get used to it. Although Cooper, Coop, our sound engineer, had fried pig guts, like like knowingly. Like, oh. ate, ate most of it, wherever he is. Yeah. Dirty sod. He's, He's back yeah. there. He's back there. He feels ill, still. <laughs> <laughs> so stay clear of them, then. Yeah. <laughs> how, how long were you over in Hong Kong, then, before? Three, three days, three or four uh, days, because it was like we, we on the way out we missed a day. So, uh, right. oh, okay. so I'm not yeah. still not sure how many days we're out there. We were playing, we were playing at a festival called Clock and Flap. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think I saw that on your uh, Twitter page when I misread it, and I'm sure everyone. Can no, 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 it was. What? We were calling it something else. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure everyone can imagine. <laughs> um, yeah, no, which is potentially the most unfortunately named festival. Yeah. What's your favorite? And also, what's worse is like. An English guy set it up, so he was really? clearly just taking. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> this will get him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> send that through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. people. So, did you enjoy the festival then? Mm, right, I hope so. Yeah. Good. What is your favourite festival to do then? Would you say that's one of your favourites? Or I don't know. Yeah, because we got to go to Hong Kong. I yeah. <laughs> um, we have we've been lucky to do quite a bunch, but like I guess this year, Reading was probably our favourite. Um, because yeah. we had a really, we sort of weren't really sure if anyone was going to come, and then people did, yeah. which was cool. My friend saw your writing, absolutely lovely. Text me, he's like, "This is so good." Oh, that's really nice. Enjoyed it. So. That's cool. Yeah. We had to, we also went to Norway and played a festival there. Oh, what was which that was, like? It was really fun. It was really good. And we got there, and like, we was all backstage. They were like, "Go this way to have a massage. This way to like, we'll fix your oh instruments." We were like, "This is nothing like twenty-four hour box." <laughs> yeah. Well. Be, yeah. And then, and then it turned out like one of our songs had been all over radio there, so and we didn't know. So we walked out on stage, and there were like five thousand people, oh and we gosh. were expecting like four. That's amazing. <laughs> and we all sort of looked at each other and was like, "What, what do we do?" Oh my god! So would you say that's one of your proudest moments when you get out there and like there's loads of fans there? I don't know. I think surviving Reading without having any wee thrown at us was probably yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, 
that was quite a proud moment. Yeah, that, that's impressive, you know. Yeah. yeah. And did you go, you guys were at Glastonbury as well, didn't you? We did, yeah, obviously, last year. Because like, yeah. 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 um, it wasn't on this year, but yeah, that no. was cool. That was like, and that was one of our first, but that was very different to this year. We We sort of like... We drove ourselves in shifts. Kyle didn't have a ticket, so he had to, we played. We played two gigs on like relatively small stages. Yeah, and it was all really last minute. And Kyle had to get snuck in in a. Really, he was smuggled in in, in a lorry in a sofa. Oh Him my and, gosh! Yeah, and no, it was weird. I, 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 I had to meet up with the two other guys who were always getting sneaked in, and me and this one guy were in this sofa, like like the brand new guy, like that, just bosh, and he's there, and he's there, but the other way around. Yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, not bad. I'm Kyle. It's wicked. <laughs> we're chatting, and then and, and then you, you get the bang on the thing, right? Like, shut up, and you're in, and it's dead silent. And you hear someone, you hear someone, right? Like, right, let's have a look in the van. We'll go out the back, but it was all covered in cushions and drinks and stuff. And they were like, yeah, we just went out to get do a beer run. We're like, oh, okay. And then shuffling about, closed it, and you're like, like yeah. that is amazing. <laughs> That's end. so cool. It was good. No, I got I got chucked out. The yeah, I was though. gonna say I hate <laughs> you got chucked out. And it did also mean you had to go into class me like seven days early and sleep on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Really? I, 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 was, I, was, I was there from like Tuesday. I, was, I, was, I, was there, I had to like I just helped build build Fair. it set up the set it up being a nice guy general nice well, that guy well, because I, I, I used to start festivals as a previous job oh, anyway okay. so That's I knew cool. what I was doing yeah clearly you do <laughs> I fit right in yeah that like experience you know yeah, yeah, yeah. insight did you mind uh, yeah why, how did you get kicked out well because um, like, well, I had to leave anyway because I, yeah. I, I had because I, I, like, I, we were all still working at that point yeah and I had to leave and um so I, was, I had everyone back. It was at like six in the morning, and like we'd, I'm, I'm, no one had been to bed. And so I was on the way out, and I was asking people, "Is this th- is this definitely the way to Gate A, where I can get a bus or somehow get a taxi?" Or whatever? Yeah. They were like, um, "Yeah, keep going down there. Let's have a look at your wrist." And I was like, "Oh no!" And because it was like the little tabs that hang off. Yeah. All of them cut off and sewn together like a little fake one uh-huh. down there. That's a little tip for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. And um. Uh, and I got chucked out. Um. And then uh, and, the good and, thing, and the good thing was though that like he was he was about to. He was trying to find out how to get to the station, which yeah. was apparently miles away. Yeah. And in getting in getting sort of nicked and 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 um, caught, they you know they told you off, gave him a certificate for getting kicked out of Glastonbury, which is awesome. Notice. And oh I probably God, that's amazing. Is that and then, and then they wall? drove him yeah, to the that, station. That should be yeah. yeah. Um, they got you to the station as well. Yeah. And, 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 uh, so like, I, had to, I had to go for the security office and do all that stuff. And they're like, right, so right, well, right, we're gonna have to escort you off premises now. And they escort me to a taxi rank. And like, and then whilst I was there, I just met this girl. I'm like, hey, let's share a cab. Like, oh, wicked! And then she like, got a cab That's right amazing. there. So I mean, if if they'd left left me, I would have learnt my lesson. But now I've got a souvenir <laughs> and I got a free yeah. lift. Clearly, that's what everyone's trying to do: get kicked out of Glastonbury just for the certificate. Yeah, well, yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? <laughs> Next year, just a massive, massive yeah, riot. Just get chucked out. Yeah. Have any of you guys been kicked out of any festivals then? No, nah, Kyle's the one naughty one. Oh, oh. The bad lad. <laughs> this is this is potentially because we always talk about this. Going to be why we don't we'll never play festivals. Never. Not any festivals. Oh, okay, so we won't bring it. Should yeah. move well, on. We've just thought. We, I mean, it's fine. We've just talked about it. Sorry. <laughs> in the last ten minutes. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, so, what would you say your biggest achievement is? I don't know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> You've done so much though. The last year, you really like some of the music. It's brilliant. that's coming out and. You're doing loads of gigs, like you've got one a tour coming out soon, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah, this year's been pretty mad. The, I think, um, I don't know, like, it's people coming to our gigs has been a big thing. Like, our, like, we did a tour before and the whole thing sold out yeah. in advance, and that for us was that's just amazing, a bit mental. Yeah, and, and and you know, having having been in the band for a couple of years, like, one of the scariest things about going on tour and no one knowing who you are is is, is that fear of getting to a venue and having driven to like. Leads or yeah. a really bad memory of ours to Wrexham, and there being six people there, oh. and the look in the promoter's eyes when you walk out, you get out the out of the car or the van or whatever, and they look at you like, "Hi, yeah," and you you both, yeah, know, you haven't sold any tickets, yeah, and it's horrible. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so like but I don't know, I guess so different though. Yeah, no, it's been wicked, and and yeah, I mean with the whole thing selling out, and and we've got another tour in sort of March, and yeah, a whole bunch of them are sold out. Yeah, I've well. just booked tickets for that one. Have you? Yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I guess that's quite cool. And then we like, I guess, quite weirdly, um, we had a song called Floors. Which was, like, yeah, I love that song. Of, thank you. Yeah. And like, just completely out of the blue, that sort of like charted. Yeah. Which we weren't really um, expecting. And yeah. so that was a bit of a. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You enjoy making it? No. Could, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it, no, it was really. Obviously, it was wicked being able to go and make it, but I. Just a bit cringe worthy being yeah. in the music video. Okay, Mus- watching it back must be cringy for you. Yeah. <laughs> we're like we're sort of um, sorting out or trying to sort out making the next one at the moment, and 
I'm trying really hard to avoid having to be in it. <laughs> oh, good luck with that one. Which yeah, one is no, your favourite one to film then? The ones that we weren't in. <laughs> <laughs> that, we, that we have a song called Overjoyed and, and our friend directed yeah. a video for it. Um, um, we sort of made it near like my mum and dad's house. And, oh, nice. And he, he pulled in loads of favours and got like a really good crew in, but we didn't. We made the whole thing for like 100 quid or something. And um, it was before we like had it yeah. signed or anything. And uh, I just spent all day having to like make sandwiches for people and stuff. <laughs> I quite like that. It's much better than being yeah. in front of a camera having I'm sorry, I need to mind mind your own song. Yellow card. (laughs) I'll stop talking. Oh, it's fine. We have um, people on the radio on a Saturday morning, Regret Radio, and they've been teaching each other not to swear on radio by hitting each other. And so you'll see them walking around campus just hitting each other. You're like, they've just sworn. (laughs) It's quite funny. (laughs) You can hit me if you want. I'm fine. (laughs) (laughs) We don't want violence here. I'm not promoting that, you know. (laughs) Sorry for swearing. It's fine. Um, but yeah, no. Um, or getting, obviously, getting, obviously, getting dumped in the sea was fun for you as well. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was um, that was quite an experience. The um, there was the, the the girl, the sort of model who who was the girl in the video. Yeah, she was there for like a few days doing filming, and then we both went out. It was some ridiculous like nineteen hour day for a three second shot in the water. But um, serious. Yeah, we cool. we we um, were taken out to sea, and there were like four scuba diver sort of um, lifeguard people yeah. who were. I don't know, in these like massive suits and we were in this boat taking really far out and, and there was a crew blah, blah, blah. and she was thrown in the water and was in there for like five seconds and then when she got back in they were all like covering her with towels and like hugging her like, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. They're like, it's your turn, mate, to me. I was like, what? They're like, just, just, just jump in. I was like, what? Yeah. And like threw myself in the water and then no one really told me what to do and I had to just pull myself back in and, and I was like, I'm also, I'm also hyperventilating. I'm also really yeah. bored. And I'm like, no, it's fine. Just, uh, just take your clothes off. And they gave me a plastic bag to wear. Oh. So I just sort of sat there, <laughs> really like naked, in a in a oh, boat, God. in a giant plastic bag. <laughs> um, and then got, and then like we couldn't get that far into shore, so I had to get like firemen's lifted out by one of these guys. Oh. And like that was like just, just one of one of the sort of yeah, casual, you know. Yeah, you know, better moments of my life. <laughs> naked in a plastic bag, being <laughs> firemen's lifted to the shore. <laughs> That's normal. Oh, well, cool story though, you know. Just... And a nice image. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Glide past that one. Yeah. Yeah, lovely image. Um, I also love your video, What Would You Do? And I really like covers at the moment. Um, so would you, what would you say your favourite cover is? Of, of other of, people? That you've done. Oh, we just made a whole load more. Did you? Mm. We just, um, we've got like a... We did a, a mixtape thing at the beginning yeah. of the year of, of covers, and we've just literally yesterday I finished the sort of sequel for it. Oh, wow. So have you been in the studio then at the moment? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Um, and uh, yeah, it's coming out on Monday. Ah, that's cool. So everyone get listening to that one on Monday. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just... oh, have you got some good tracks on there that you like? I hope so. That you like? They're, no, I, I, I like them, yeah. Imagine it's if quite... you didn't. Yeah, I know. Oh, three you tracks just I hate. So... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite weird. It's, quite a, a, it's a really weird mix of songs, as, as per like, last time. But I think this time's even weirder. And I'm also not on it that much. It's, it's quite a lot more like we've got people that we know and other people to come yeah. and sing. So there's a, there's a few... There's one that's... It, yeah, it's a bit mental, really. There's one that it's like... Um, we've got a song on our album called Oblivion, yeah. which is really like really sort of stripped back and stuff and, and it's like piano and strings. And, nice. And, um, and we did a version of that. We got my, my mate Ralph who's in a band called To Kill a King. Yeah, we played we with them earlier. To... Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. But um, he he sings the song as like a cowboy over, <laughs> over like a bit of music from Kill Bill. And <laughs> then brilliant. And then it sort of like, it then drops into um, the sort of the backing vocals from Jesus Walks by Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> and I sing, oh, I, sing, I sing the chorus, and then that sort of. Oh yeah, no, I shouldn't talk about it, should I? No, not much. No. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> but yeah, that's. The anyway, it's te- weird. Little teaser. <laughs> <It's> also- <laughs> <laughs> I also just forgot that this is not an interesting story. <laughs> I'm just describing music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I should never be allowed to talk. Um, yeah. No. Anyway. Right. So which Christmas songs would you cover? Because it's obviously Christmas. We've done one on this mix. Oh, have you? But- <laughs> <laughs> you're not very good at the secret, no, are I'm you? No, I'm not at all. <laughs> so you've done one of them. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to not say any more. Yeah, but if we were to do another one, what would you want to do? Yeah. Um, the rest of you guys can. 
Will's, in Will. Will's, a, Will's a thinker. <laughs> I don't really know any Christmas songs. How can you not know Christmas songs? That one that everyone knows, but then it sounds like another one. <laughs> <laughs> no one really knows which is which. <laughs> That's a true point. They all do sound sort of quite similar. Yeah, I do one of the two that I don't know which is which. <laughs> okay. A bit of Mariah Carey? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I love Mariah Carey. <laughs> That's my biggest musical influence. Yeah. <laughs> you sound really excited about her. I'm, I'm moved. <laughs> <laughs> but how about you? Um, I was going to say that one, but you've just completely stolen it, so cheers. Words um, are kind of put in my mouth there. Well, <laughs> you can have Mariah if you want. Um, don't like over Mariah now, come on. I don't know, there's the, the Pogues one that everyone yeah. likes. Yeah. Um, so I guess I like it too because I'm easily led. Um, <laughs> Sheep. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll say that one. What do you go for? Um, here comes Santa Claus, the Doris Day version, I think. <laughs> Specifically that version. Specifically. Yeah. yeah. Do it word for word. I'll just you know trying to get the voice right. <laughs> Clothes and everything. Clothes. Get me haircut. Yeah. It's boiled. It's good in the dress. I was going to say, I don't know if you can really cut into cut the you know, just cut some length into yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, definitely that. That's good. <laughs> you? Um, I don't. I've done one. Uh, are you going to stick yeah, with that one? I think so. To be announced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On um, Monday. <laughs> yeah. I think only Christmas song. Yeah, Slade. You've got one. You've got yeah, one. Wizard. Yeah, Slade. Wizard. That's true. Those are the two I was thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, now, Christmas is coming. Everyone's looking for Christmas jumpers at the moment. For socials. Have you guys got your Christmas jumpers? Oh, this, this, this is the man. On, this one, on Dan has got a really cool Christmas jumper on at the moment. When you say cool. <laughs> um, it's like orange highlighter pattern with, you know. It's basically turned everyone in the room temporarily epileptic. It's that, <laughs> that intense. <laughs> You know, it looks like I ate some neon paint and vomited on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to go that far, but no, you said no, I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, Sorry. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it, no, it's you with the uh, in the uh, sofa with the lap of French. You're not in one at the uh, moment. The yeah, photo you showed me. <laughs> yeah. You're in a blue sofa. At the so moment. confused. <laughs> um, yeah, you've got some Christmas jumpers, have you? Yeah. I've, I've got one Christmas jumper ever. I, mean, I don't really wear jumpers. I'm more of a hoodie sort of guy. Glad we cleared a, that up. Yeah. Obviously. Everyone needs a Christmas jumper, though. Yeah, they're really itchy. Like, I, I don't yeah. know. What, I don't know why he wears jumpers out of choice. It's, it's mad, if you ask me. But see yourself. I mean, it's it's quite a generally like <laughs> you. It's not like a really <laughs> odd, <laughs> really odd piece of clothing. No. You wear trousers? What, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you guys got Christmas jumpers? I've got an old one knitted by my nan. Oh, see, that's it's a more true of a cardigan, Christmas. Okay. But you let me off. Well, yeah, I'll let you knitwear sort of. Yeah, yeah. Woolen. It's, it's got like. Weird little Aztec aliens on the back, but it's Chris- well Christmassy though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in like an Aztec themed Christmas. <laughs> Who doesn't have those? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get away with that. What about you? I only really wear black. So well, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> Will exclusively wears black or tweed. Is black or tweed. tweed. That's okay. Or bright red velvet blazers and bow ties. We went to a party last night and Will... I've done that once, that made me sound... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. We went to a party last night and Will, Will turned up in a bow tie and a bright red, like, dinner jacket. Brilliant. It was... Yeah, I was overdressed. I looked like I just got out of bed and you looked like... You just <laughs> it was like the... jeans and jumpers this end. Yeah. yeah. Will walks in, like... As 1940s as a way boy. <laughs> Boom. It's fine. Get everyone in the room noticed, I'm sure. Oh, they yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> was it a good party then? Um, yeah, it was all right. Yeah. Work do, you know. Uh, <laughs> like the Christmas party. It was, office. Christmas it was, it was the office, office Christmas party. party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, lots of really bad... There's lots of sushi, which was really good for me and Kyle, given that we hate fish. Oh. We come out from Hong Kong, yeah. fish everywhere. I was right. going to say, you're having a really fish-themed... All I need is just, uh, some chips or something. And we rock, it, rock up. Sorry, there's everywhere. lots of chips in Reading. Chips and cheese. Yeah, no, see, we're fine now. See, you're fine. And there's one really near Sub-89, so you're sorted. That's Bosh. it, sorted. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody wants to know... Do you prefer onesies or slankets? Onesies. Onesies, mate. Oh. <laughs> slankets, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> slankets? It's basically like a dressing gown, but backwards. That sounds ideal. <laughs> it's really good if you're in bed and, like, texting or something. I'm often in bed texting. So. <laughs> I recommend a slanket. They are really good. What about you? Casting um, Again, I, I've got no idea what a slanket is. Oh, just, you're yeah. missing out. Yeah, they're like blankets with arms, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Okay. Is that like, like what babies have? I don't know. That's a onesie. You, you want a onesie? No, I'm not a onesie. Is. 
I was going to say, was he? It's, it's like a blanket with sleeves on. Okay. Does it go the whole way around? Or just no. 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 no it's, 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 it's open at the back. That, okay. Now that's the, you know, so it's right out. So you can move it? Kind yes. Of but you'd have a cold back. Um, your back's freezing, in fact. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were tricked. You thought you were warm because you're lying down and you got it on the front. Oh, it's fine. Well, get up. You're freezing. Who's going to have a slanket? Idiots, actually. Will. <laughs> well, <laughs> sounds no. like a hospital gown. Yeah, I don't want one now. Um, okay. I go so for the, a, a one then. Oh. I, yeah, I, I prefer well, you, my slanket. You, you slank it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. I, I think I get trapped in a onesie. <laughs> they have the, an interesting phobia. That, that's, that's, that's the best thing ever. Trapped in the onesie. It's to get really warm though, and you just overheat, and then you slowly just sweat all yeah. the body. <laughs> you just sweat in your bed. But death. how cold is your back though? Honestly, <laughs> like I normally have other stuff on underneath, just like a t-shirt or something as well. So I don't know. It evens uh, out. Yeah. I suppose if you get too warm, it's roll over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's like ventilation. Uh, exactly. No, okay. Do you know? You, 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 it's, it's, up, it's a bit higher now in my, in my, uh, in my estimations. Point. Yeah, estimations, yeah. You'd have to have one night with the slanket. Uh, sl- ah! <laughs> what? I, I just combining the two now. Just it's onesie. Um, yeah, you'd have to have one night with the slanket, one night with the onesie, and then see. Uh, it's a great weekend. <laughs> Pros and cons. Great yeah. Weekend. Um, moving on to topics now. Um, one thing I've always wondered about your name the triangle for the A. Is that anything to do with the fortress of the Bastille? Or is it just, it looks cool? Yeah, um, yeah. It's, the, it's the fortress, obviously. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, like, my favourite question we ever got asked was because it's like <clears throat> it's actually just a really clunky, boring name, and uh, and someone was like, "Is it you know, is it a symbol of the fact that you're trying to like revolutionise music in the music industry?" So, no, it's my birthday. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's, um, it was just a triangle that looked. Oh, all right. Good. It's it's people, I think my friend it's suggested it. Fair enough. It's cooler than just Bastille written, yeah. and it's sort of like we don't really like it. It's got a bit out of hand. Oh. <laughs> it's now triangles. it's everywhere. We can't get away from it. Oh. Um, and um, the whole time, our manager was like, oh, yeah, let's have a massive triangle on stage behind you. We were like, you know, there's a band called Old J whose name is a triangle. Can we, can we like, move in the other direction a bit? But no. Try a square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many, there's many a shape. Boss deal, yeah. yeah okay. Doesn't really fit with the A for Bastille. Oh, you're right. You're right. You, I'll have to you see through another it. one. <laughs> Um, so we're going to take a couple of questions from the floor because um, we've seen we've got so many people here. So does anyone have any questions? I'll come round and find you. This is like question time. Yeah. We didn't get round to getting tickets for your gig tonight. So is there any chance we can get snuck in? I think we have two spots left on the guest list. Like glass, don't it, glass okay, yeah. Yeah. Do I can. How many guest lists do we have left? Oh, you can do this. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah, of course can. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Nice question so far. Uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, I reckon we'll be able to sort that. Probably. Yeah, totally. You've got yeah. Sam, you? Sam, our tour manager. What's your question? Just go chat to him afterwards. On more of a sort of serious level, what's your main musical <laughs> inspiration? <laughs> oh no, I would, like um, uh, like I suppose like most of you, why I like your music is because it doesn't sit to sing about like I don't know getting smashed in a club. So what's your musical inspiration? It does, just in a really pretentious way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, then I'm stupid. No, uh, I don't know. I think um, lyrically, I I I don't particularly. I like. I guess I like trying to keep things a little bit ambiguous, and and also trying to sort of imagine like a situation or a conversation or something, rather than it being like heavily autobiographical or or to- too painfully literal. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I, I quite like stories and and films and stuff that's happened to me and other people and I like using like other characters that exist as a way in I think that's going to be helpful but yeah I, mus- and musically I don't know I always I always name loads of people that I like that sound absolutely nothing like us so it's kind of a bit redundant I always like start naming like hip hop people that clearly have no influence whatsoever <laughs> in our actual music but I, yeah, I don't know I don't know I'm rubbish at that answer sorry oh that's okay that was exactly what I wanted so okay, okay. <laughs> Does anyone else have any questions? Yeah. Go on. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm in a different boat to them. I've got a ticket, but I can't print it off. <laughs> <laughs> so, We've got a printer, if you want. If you've yeah, you got the one yeah. that I can plug into, that'd be lovely. <laughs> 100% not joking. We do back at the venue, I think. Sam! <laughs> Sam! 
Oh, he's gone. Or just be like, just wave at the bouncer when I turn up. Just he normally, like, he normally he's got has. a ticket, definitely. We don't have that power. I wish <laughs> we did. So do you guys carry a printer around with you wherever you go then? Um, Will yeah? that fail? Not yes. us. <laughs> no, 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 for your team. Um, our, yeah, our tour manager is... So what else do you get, take around then with you when you go on tour? Um, Random... Do any of you have like, any lucky things that you have to take with you on tour? Like, again, pants. some triangle thing we've been carrying around for ages. Our big foam <laughs> triangle. We can't get rid of it. And, 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 and we, 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 we threw it around a bit and it got battered. And then Tom Allen just taped it up and now it's perfect again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So we still got that. At one, point, at one point, our label, they, they made us a giant neon triangle that we were just too embarrassed to take out. Really? We used it once, I think, at Reading, and it broke, and we haven't used it a bit since. convenient. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, but, we, yeah, we, we don't really have any... We're, like, a bit rubbish. We don't really have any, like, lucky stuff. We don't have any, like, rituals or anything like that. We're... Woody tried boring. to make us have that cat, but it was awful. So <laughs> yeah. He's still there. He's still there hiding the box, that right? He's, What's he's, this? Um, oh, no, we do have one thing. Um, our, our sound guy, Coop... Who's also somewhere there? He um he once this is awful, but he once stole a teddy bear <laughs> um, which from a child. Obviously, we don't we, <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone that. that. But um, yes, yeah, so we've got this weird teddy bear that also follows us around, and it's it's got like a it's got like a bad blood headband on, and its mouth is taped up, which is quite creepy. Yeah. Um, yeah. This isn't this isn't showing us in a very good light, is it? No. <laughs> Fine. Um, <laughs> any other questions? Can I ask what hair product you use, please? Because I've been trying to do my hair for quite a while. It's not. Right, his usual answer is it's just a towel. It's, it's natural. It's not. I've seen him in the morning. So half, it's a good. It's a good half an hour routine of a concoction of stuff. Oh, yeah. But, um, well, yeah. No, it's 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 primarily horribly knotted. Bit of hairspray. I don't know. And now that we like we had a, we had like a photo shoot thing the other day, which was really awkward, and this guy just every time we stopped, we were like doing a song, and every time we stopped, he'd like run up and be like. Tss! Oh my hair, it's horrible. <laughs> One of the questions that um, people suggested we ask you was, are you jealous of Nick Grimshaw's quiff? Um, no, but I've heard that he's jealous of mine. Ooh, oh, oh bring that. it out. <laughs> Face hair. <laughs> um, was the question? Where are you guys from? Um, I'm from Plymouth, originally. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Get on, boy. Uh, we're from London. And he's from... I'm from a village near Birmingham. <laughs> I'm glad that was so amusing. Where are you from? I'm from, like, Southfields, which is in south-west London. He's from west London. Chiswick Massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what about you? I'm from Clapham. Ah, oh, he lives there. Way. <laughs> we're all we're all, oh, we're all connected somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be. We're meant to come and see you tonight. Yeah. This is it? Yeah. <laughs> It'll happen. And any last questions? Anyone on the floor? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, so, what's your pl- next plans then? Um, Got gigging a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's next gonna, the- yeah. <laughs> And home are you just home going off? straight there, stopping anywhere before? Um, we, I'm not, I don't know. See, this is the beauty of our tour manager. He's like the brain. Ah. He just thinks for us. It's brilliant. And then we're just the sort of limbs of You're his like brain. The and we just sort of just... controls us all. And we, and we don't have to think about anything. It's wicked. See? Sorted. Um, we should all be, you know, go on tour and have a tour manager just so we don't have to think. I'd yeah. recommend it. <laughs> it's definitely making me a worse human being. I'm yeah. like reverting to like a childhood state where you're told, like when we're not on tour and you have to make your own meals and, and like... <laughs> And find, like plan your day. You're like, what's what we're doing? So, it, it sounds weird, but like because you, you just you just on especially on long tours, you just fall into that habit, and so yeah. you come off and you just don't know how. I'm trying to get dressed. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry, but nothing's happening. I'm hungry. <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. Um, and yep, we've got another couple of tours uh, tomorrow and the day after. That's oh, where you go. Gigs, <laughs> gigs, Gig, tours, gigs. Well, One day tour, again, yeah. again, I'm not the thinker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I guess we've got like our album coming out. Yeah. Um, in, in uh, which is it? In a few months now. March the like, fourth. Yeah. The, the beginning of March. <laughs> and we've got another single, a new, a, a new well, it's, I say new. It's not really new, but we've got a song called Pompeii coming out. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, which we've been waiting bloody ages to release. So really, it'd be, it'd be nice to to put that out. And yeah, I, I don't know. It's this mixtape thing coming out on Monday. Yeah. And, yeah. 
So how long has it taken you to uh, put the album together then? Um, a while. It, uh, it, um, no, it, it was kind of, I don't know, it, it was going to come out earlier this year and then it, we put it back to next year. Yeah. So it's kind of been done for a bit, but we've been sort of adding bits and bobs here and there. And I, I handed it in officially um, like last week. It kind of sounds like it's handing in like course It felt something. like that. Really? It felt, so it felt like that, yeah. The worst thing for me was coming up with the, like, the track order and the track listing. Yeah. Having to like having to cut songs off as well because we did like about 17 18 songs for it and having to sort of decide what made the cut and what didn't yeah and it's so it's so it's such a weird process because we've been working on it sort of on and off for the last year or so and and, and you know longer than that but that's yeah. a recording thing that, over this year and and um it's hard to think of it as like an actual album when it's just a collection of songs and yeah and you can go in and change whatever you want whenever you want suddenly having to put it in an order like let go of it is weird and a bit scary yeah um but yeah so that happened ah. <laughs> that happened last week you're looking forward to releasing that then um yeah. no. <laughs> no i don't know <laughs> i quite like we're in this like we're in this sort of state at the moment where we don't have an album out so it's quite like relaxed and yeah and i and i think and everything we do at the moment everything nice that happens is always a bit of a surprise and a nice surprise i think as soon as you've got an album out that's the thing you're judged on that's kind of like that'll be the thing that people yeah. look at and and so I, I feel like we, at the moment, and, and for the last year or so, we've kind of had freedom to do whatever we want, and I don't know if that will yeah. change a little bit. But it'll be good. I mean, I guess it'll be good. So is it, gonna, <laughs> is it a mix of new songs? <laughs> um, what's that? Is it a mix of new songs and old songs, or is it all new work? Um, new songs? I, I mean, it's, it is, there's old stuff. There's all the singles we've released so far. There's some, yeah. some older songs, some new ones as well. But I guess, like, uh, it was, I finished writing it. Like, I think, I think there's a song called Oblivion and was the last one that I wrote and, and that's not it's not like um, new new yeah. so it was you know a couple of months ago so and we'd be playing loads of it live so unfortunately there's not going to be like a huge amount of surprises on it but there'll be a few tracks people have yeah I know I'm sure there will be there was one song that I was really looking forward to people not hearing but then they used it on this computer game called FIFA um, to be <laughs> you may have heard of it you on FIFA <laughs> yeah which means that like it was one of the songs I was really excited about. No, because this is so pretentious. But there's no. there's 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 two songs in the album. There's one's called "The Weight of Living Part One" and the other one's called "The Weight of Living Part Two. Really happy songs. Um, and <laughs> and Sound it. and they yeah they used it so they sort oh. of ruined that. But I guess. But I, I was playing FIFA last week and I forgot it was on there. And it, <laughs> that must be so it came on, I was like, is my iPod on or something? That was TV, right? <laughs> must be so weird for you. Yeah. I mean, um, I I had a few mates just kind of text me at, at the blue from school from like years ago. Yeah, like, you're on FIFA. What are you doing? Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Everywhere now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's weird. It's like that. Like yeah, of all of all like my mates and stuff and people I haven't seen in ages. That's the one thing that people really. Want. That's the thing that anyone takes seriously. That and like getting used on an ITV advert are the two things that people like. <laughs> have any so, respect for like, really? play Reading really? don't care <laughs> play Glastonbury don't care FIFA <laughs> yeah. like, my friend yeah, yeah. which but, ITV advert are you on then uh, some I don't, know. Yeah. I don't know who knows Appa- oh we just got told as well that apparently one of our songs is going to get used on Dancing on Ice <laughs> is it Ooh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> amazing which is embarrassing um, but yeah no, so I hope fun. the album's good and like we've, we sort of like older songs that are on there we've kind of re-recorded and yeah um, Added, we, we, we did. We recorded some strings at Abbey Road. Um, oh, nice! Which was really nice. And then, and what did you also, think to Abbey Road? Did you enjoy recording there? Oh, it was amazing! Insane. Yeah, it was like it was ridiculous, and we we just felt really lucky to be able to. Yeah. Do it. And it was, it's quite nice. Like we, this is really boring, but I've no, just no, I've just been it. doing it. But uh, there's like a there's sort of you have to do like a special edition of the album. So there's a longer version that has a bunch of really new songs. Actually, there are some new ones, but they're on. Yeah. Anyway. And, um, and also, we, we took all the recordings from Abbey Road and did just, like, strip back, like, just strings, oh, wow. strings versions of a lot of the songs, which I think will be quite nice. Yeah, yeah. that sounds really good. Yeah. So ah, exciting stuff coming up, then. It's quite hard when you're so inside something to really have any perspective over yeah. whether or not it's any good or <laughs> rubbish. It could be just pretentious and horrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, or I'm boring. sure it would be really good. Yeah. Let's hope so. So are you doing any festivals this summer? Yeah, well, it's kind of they, they, they start booking up around now, so we've got a few TBCs in the calendar, but it's nothing uh, confirmed yet. Um, we've got, yeah, we've got a bunch, but I, I don't know yeah. when so we're excited. to announce them. No. <laughs> but we're going, we're going like, I guess next year we're really excited to be going a, abroad a bit. Like, Yeah, we're going to, lots of opportunities. We're playing at a festival called South by Southwest in Texas Ooh. in March, mm. which 
we're all going to get hats. <laughs> yeah, it's I was going to say, you're going to do the whole hoedown. Yeah, and we're going to do um, man versus food. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> we're going to have so many eating competitions. Oh my gosh. But what's bad is it's uh, the, we're going for a week and it's in the middle of our month-long album tour. So we're going to come back from that like seven times faster <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and probably jet-lagged. So yeah, it's you'll great. be fine. <laughs> no, it's going to be fun. It's yeah. Be um, but, so you've done quite a few festivals. Do you prefer performing at festivals or being a festival-goer? Um, festival-goer. Yeah, festivals are quite... Yeah, festival-goer. It, it, you know what's, you know what's nice? Being a festival-goer, but when you've got a backstage ticket... So if you need if you need the toilet, you can go. <laughs> That's true. This yeah, is a very new approach. This is only like this year. If your like if your mates are playing, yeah, yeah, then go. You, so, cause when you're playing, you can't you can't really enjoy it that much, and and then you can't so, have a, anything to drink or whatever yeah. before you go on. So you got the whole day spent. Oh, what's going on? You're a fest, you when you're at a festival as a punter. Yeah. Smash the whole day. Yeah. <laughs> Smash it up. Yeah. Like, and you got your mates playing backstage pass. Yeah. You're flying. Yeah, we went. To, we went to a festival this summer. Just oh, fuck, just festival's like, brilliant. It's wicked, and it was the one. It was like our one weekend off this summer, and we ended up going to another festival. But um, but yeah, we got to go, and our friends were playing, so we just sort of hung out with them. Yeah, so nice not having to play. <laughs> <laughs> just go and chill and relax. Yeah, yeah. So, would you say that's one of your favourite to go to then festival? Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. It's it, festival's wicked, and and Glastonbury as well. Yeah, I've been there the last Glast- like five years or so, and it's yeah, that's amazing. Also, but, a little shout out for Reading, you know. Just, oh, Reading, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Reading was wicked. No. But a bit scary. Why scary? I don't know. I just like the few, the, the few times that I went and camped, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. <laughs> Bearing in mind that I really like festivals and I go to a lot, but I literally thought I was going to die. I, I, it sounded like a war zone. All I could smell was burning tents. <laughs> oh. All I could hear were like toilets being ripped down, like things being smashed. It was, yeah, when I got up in the and morning. That was his mates. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's all going on well I, I went to Leeds like hey. 10 years ago or something but yeah. um, that's the year that when it was like full on riot kicked off like their helicopters oh. and, like, riot police and stuff charging us and it was like, like apocalypse now just like charging us were you involved in the riot <laughs> no, it, 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 was, it was in our field I wasn't hurling rocks or exclusive anything exclusive re- you know, revelation was, yeah. here but no like um, it was kind of like when one toilet caught fire then like, like in a row they kind of went bang 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 blew up it was like, oh like my God. someone's just like shooting rockets or something <laughs> it was really, and, and someone pushed a cherry picker into the fire because that's really what you'd want to do <laughs> and um, yeah then the police came <laughs> I never want to go to a festival with you ever <laughs> I didn't do anything <laughs> oh, completely innocent my lord that's fine <laughs> um, sounds brilliant